welcome to another episode of Booze Briefs. This is Masterpiece Theater. <laughs> yes. What the hell's going on? My name's Matt. Hey, I'm Derek. And uh, we got something here that I don't know a damn thing about. Oh, well, I know slightly more. A little bit of damn about it. Just slightly more. Perfect. Doing the Balcones Texas Pot Still Bourbon. So we've done some, we did the, just one Balcones before. The we did baby the, blue, right? Yeah, okay. which was 100% corn whiskey. Okay. Uh, trying to find, trying to get out of the sun. <laughs> There's one branch I can get behind. Yeah. There aren't too many leaves. <laughs> we'll, we'll lean into this one. Uh, but this one is a bourbon, so it has other things besides corn okay. in it. But at least it's 50% corn. Uh, pot still, for whatever that means to you. Uh, it says, made, made grain to glass using a traditional pot still distillation. I'll pour and then keep reading. Oh, got a good color. Yeah. Um... Made grain to glass using a traditional pot still distillation ensures a rich and viscous spirit that stands up to aging in new charred oak without losing its essence. It's like a 10W30 viscosity, or what are we going with here? I'm not exactly sure. I am not a car. Can we speak not NASCAR a, real not, quick? I'm not a gearhead. <laughs> but again, this is from Tejas. It smells like corn. And it's uh, never chill filtered or colored, aged at least 24 months in oak. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. Oh, yeah, it says the same thing on the back. It's got right. an interesting smell. Each dram is full of character and body with an aromatic entry and soft finish for an approachable yet memorable experience. I feel like sometimes I have an aromatic entrance. <laughs> <laughs> My wife would agree with that. Hey, <laughs> Good friend of yours can also agree. <laughs> Shoot. So there's something on the nose of this. Yeah, it's corn. You know I'm not a big corn guy. Is that corn, though? It's corn and charcoal. Here's one thing that this says. On their nose. And this is from Balconis' website. The nose, Honeycrisp Apples. No. Toasted Oak. No. Kettle Corn. Mm, maybe. I mean, that's corny. Graham Cracker. No. Here you go, Matt. Oiled Glove. I get more of that. It smells like transmission fluid. Yeah. Like, when I, <laughs> when I got to the Oiled Glove, I was like, that's actually what I smell. Because there's something on this that I don't love. No, it smells like when you're working on the car, you take your gloves off, and you're like, Whoa, that stinks. I need some O'Keefe's hand cream. Man. Yeah. The poems. Uh, oh. The taste, it says, is honey, sweet cream, candied pecans, sandalwood, and leather. I like to wrap my leather in sandalwood or oh, wood and sandal leather. And was, it, was patchouli not available? No. So, Matt, I brought this out no. for a reason. <laughs> I brought this out for a reason. And I want you to know I brought this out for a reason. We give a lot of high scores. <laughs> we um, give a lot of things in the mid, upper 80s. And we're very complimentary. And I want you to know that we don't truly love everything that we buy and that we open. Because this isn't great. That tastes like transmission fluid. <laughs> and I think it tastes better than it smells. I don't like that at all. I don't, I don't like that. Like yeah. when you're a kid and they're trying to get you to eat broccoli and you're like, I don't like it. Yeah. How do you know? I just don't like it. Yeah. Uh, because I've had their, um, their uh, single malt, yep. which is like 70 a bottle. Delicious. Baby blue. Delicious. And I was like, you're two for two. Let me get this. It's a new product. It was $32. I think you uh, put it onto an order that you got from somewhere. Yeah, probably. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm excited about this. And earlier on, I think it was better. It's gotten worse over time. And I just, I never loved it to begin with. So this was the, like, I want to bring this out so you know we're keeping it honest with, <laughs> yeah. these, with this stuff. That's for real. I, I don't want to try anymore, but I've, in the name of science, I'll do a in little bit more. In the name of science, I'm going to add a little water, and then I, this dram probably won't be finished. There's some mulch behind us that might get a little bit of... Uh, how, how much water can I put in it? <laughs> as much as you wish, good sir. It's your, it's your world. Can I put other bourbon in it? <laughs> <laughs> Is that water? <laughs> Man, that, does, that makes it more corny. See, I get... Um, like you talk about working on a car. I get like... Um, you know when you, you ride the brakes too hard? Oh, um, yeah. That bur brake pad smell. Oh, yeah. Oh, and your car's still hot, and you spray it down, you're washing it, and you spray the brake pad. Yeah. It stinks. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's what uh -huh. this stinks like. It smells like people from Texas. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know. I don't I don't really know anybody from Texas. Hopefully there's no Texas Texans on here. 
Don't mess with them. No. It's a big ass state. Mm -hmm. Good toast though in Texas. Yeah. That's um So this is batch. <laughs> this is batch. Hopefully one of one. Uh, TPSB, <laughs> which I assume is Texas Pot Still Bourbon, 20-1. There's more sufferers out there? It's, Matt, it does promise a memorable experience. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know, I remember, I, I would remember getting kicked squaw in the nuts. That is memorable. Yeah. Memorable doesn't mean good. It's like when you say someone's food is interesting or Oh, that's different. Uh, yeah. Ooh, boy. That's something. <laughs> I don't normally combine watermelon with sirloin, but, you know, uh, it's, it's different. You did it, and then then I had to drink it. Uh, and honey and sweet cream? What the? Were they tasting this? Finish is soft and sweet, drying and tannic, fade with lingering spice. And booty. <laughs> Just... Booty. I found you. <laughs> this new booty. All right, so, <laughs> Matt, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? We can wrap this video up. Filtered through the crotch of some old lady's panties. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Again, th this is Ugh. here because I wanted folks to keep to uh, know that we're honest with our reviews and we're not just pumping the tires of these distilleries. 76. Yeah? I'm going 76. <laughs> I have a follow-up question to you. Mm -hmm. Why so high? Because it's just not good. Would you buy this again at twenty dollars? I wouldn't drink that again. Would if you, you buy it? <laughs> would you buy this again at ten dollars? Uh, no. I just, then I, why are you giving it a seventy-six at thirty-two dollars? Because I'm dyslexic and I really meant sixty-seven. Okay. I just I you know, I don't know. That was the number that came to head and came to my head, and I just I just I don't know. like it, so I don't want to. Yeah, I'm going sixty-five. That's probably a fairer number. I'm, I'm going 65. This is terrible. Balconis, you should be ashamed. This this guy in Raleigh, North Carolina, shames you. Shame, shame, shame. Shame, shame, shame. This, this sucks. Don't buy it. Mm. Or maybe we got a bad batch. Maybe this is a terrible batch of this, and maybe we should taste sweet cream and honey and smell apples and kettle corn and graham cracker. And if so, if you work for Balconis... And you're watching this video, reach out to us. Prove it. <laughs> Make it right. Prove us wrong. Yeah. If it's supposed to smell like transmission fluid and uh, a body shop, well, then mission accomplished. Good job. Your whiskey sucks. This this one. Your other products. Yeah, good. you did good on the other ones. It's just, you did, excuse me, you did well on the other ones. You did less than gooder on this one. This one sucks. This one sucks. No, thank you for making me do that. <laughs> I told you I was throwing you a curveball. I didn't tell you Off what. Off camera, I'm going to kick Derek right in the dick. Oh, that's, that's going to be such a memorable experience. That's going to be memorable for both of us. Yeah. So we're going to sign off now, and i got to go you know, find a rock to bang my face on or something. <laughs> I don't know. Something terrible. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the same. <laughs> you guys check us out on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe here on YouTube, and we'll give you some good reviews. And, you know, there may be something like this one that... But you know what? We're here to tell you what you should spend your money on and what you shouldn't. So what you should is things like this. What you shouldn't is things like that. Yeah, if you like that, you probably like Wooden Mill. <laughs> Said it. Shots fired. Yep. Goodbye, right. Mace. But yeah, follow us. Do the stuff that Matt said. And until next time, put something in your glass that's better than this piss. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.